What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here. Today I want to talk about viruses. I get comments all the time from people who are like, uh, this has a virus in it, or, you know, I can't download it because it's got a virus. So first of all, especially with Cheat Engine, okay, it comes bundled with some adware, which you can completely avoid by reading the installation prompts. Read the installation prompts, please, of everything that you install. <laughs> you can completely avoid it right so there's that that's the first thing the next thing is sometimes I compile custom applications to do certain things like my RPA extractor for Windows and this extracts files from visual novels RenPy is um, what the well I don't know what you'd call it framework uh, engine something like that anyway that you can create these games in and this will extract files from that right so I did a video recently on my dirty mofo channel and someone said I can't download this file because it was flagged as having a virus right so if you come across that you want to see if a file that you're downloading potentially has a virus or if you've already downloaded it and you want to upload it go to virustotal.com why virustotal.com? Because Google owns it. If you go to the footer of the page and you click uh, probably terms of service here, control F, type in Google. Look here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The company, virustotal and whoever limited are owned by Google. Google bought virustotal. So I imagine you trust Google. Ergo, you can trust virustotal. Um, so if you haven't downloaded the file yet, like right here, here's the extractor. It's in a zip file, which is not encrypted. So we'll go copy link and click the URL thing here, paste, and scan it. Now it says this was already scanned, and I'll just save you last analysis because it'll be exactly the same. Okay, here is the result for the site. So it says URL scanner. So this is like, is my site a virus or not? And all of these things, right? Clean site, clean site, clean site. So it gives you results based on tons of different scanners, and it gives you a detection ratio, right? And then users can click if they think something's favorable or not. But as you know, there's plenty of trolls out there who would click this, so it doesn't matter. Um, the next thing you can do is right here where it says File Scan, go to Downloaded File Analysis. Click that. And then once it loads, you'll see a detection ratio based on the actual file that you put in. And once again, someone's already clicked this, whatever. So just one result. And if you look this up, it's a very common false positive that Aegis Lab, whatever that is, detected, right? All these other ones, AVG, Avast, you have all these popular antivirus scanners, Microsoft, McAfee. Malware bytes, you know, all these different um, applications that have scanned this file for a virus. So, at the end of the day, if you want to get freaked out because there's this one, you can research whatever it shows as the result um, and then go from there or trust the file or don't. Don't download it, don't install it, don't use it, don't do whatever. It's up to you. But I trust Virus Total. Um, and you know I understand you know I don't I can't project onto every single person I can't get mad at every individual because I see the cumulative effect of everyone saying this has a virus this has a virus you know what I mean like when you have a thousand people saying that to you you start getting pissed off at anyone that <laughs> says it the next time but it's not necessarily that individual's fault so I just wanted to create this video to uh, you know be able to point people like that to here and say go watch this and if they care they'll watch it if not they won't so uh, anyway just a quick heads up on that and I'll be back soon with more fresh content and a channel update video so be looking out for that alright thanks for watching talk to you all soon take care